Welcome back, kids. You know, today we're going to have an interesting lesson. Jack here asked me if I could do a car today. So we're going to learn how to draw a car with some different shapes. So let's go to my easel and we'll see what we can do for Jack. All right. So we're going to be using some different shapes today. We're going to use a square. We're going to use what they call a rectangle and my favorite circles. First thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a rectangle. We're going to start right across there with a nice big line. And we'll come down like this. Over here like this. Okay. Now we're just going to leave that like that for now because now we're going to put some wheels on, which is going to be a circle. Okay. Two circles we're going to use for wheels on this. So we're going to do one right here. Okay. And one right here. And now we're going to finish our rectangle right there like that. Okay. Now we have our rectangle and we have our two circles, which are going to be the wheels. But you know what? Now we need a place where we can sit. So we're going to put a square on the top, just like this. Just across like that. And now we have a place we can sit. Let's finish our little wheels here. We'll do another little circle in the center here. Now we're going to do the other wheel the same way as we did the first one with a little circle right there in the middle. Okay. There we go. Now to add to this car so it looks a lot more like a car. Let me see now. We need, oh, we got to get into it, don't we? Let's put a door on it. So we're just going to draw a straight line right about here, just ahead of that back wheel, okay? And then let's do another one right about here. So now we have a door. But you know what? If we don't have a handle, we can't get in it, can we? So we're just going to do a nice little line right about here. All right. There's our door and our door handle. All right. So let's do a headlight, which is just a half a circle right on the front here. Just like that. And a bumper all cars have on the front and you know what they have them on the back too just need a little square on the back there for a bumper we have two bumpers a headlight we have our wheels and our door you know what when you're sitting in this car we have to see out the windshield don't we so we're just going to take a little line right here and just do it on a little angle. And there we have our front windshield. And let's do the same on the back. Just like that. Okay. There we got our front windshield, our back windshield. And you know what? We'll just take this right up here like this for the side glass. Okay. There you go. There, we have our car. So now we'll take our black and we'll just color in the wheels there, okay? Just like this. As you know, wheels are black, or tires are black, okay? I'm just going to do it just like this. All right. There we go. And what do you say we make ourselves a nice red car? Okay. What do you think of that? So we're going to just color this in a nice red. Go. We 
the door. Make sure we show that handle still there. We need to get in and out of the car. Oh, 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 oh. I'm gonna color all that in red. I think maybe once we get this all in red, you know what I think we need? I think we need a nice red roof on it. What do you think? Hey? Eh? Let's just do a half circle up here, just like this. Okay? And to show the rest of the car is red too, we can go down each part of this line here. Okay? And right here too. Here you go. Now, you know what? If you just want to add different things to this, because you, if you just picture yourself a car, okay? What else does a car have on it? Well, let me think now. Well, they do have tail lights. Let's just do like we did in the front, okay? There's a tail light. We're just gonna darken this up a little bit now that we've colored it in. See that? Just starting to look like that car you were talking about. Hey, you know what we need too, kids? When you look in through the side of a car, a lot of times you'll see the steering wheel. And does everybody know what a T looks like? Because if you just go right from this corner here, we're going to do a T. Just like the letter T. There you go. There's your steering wheel. Okay, now let's put another little wee dot in the center here, just like that. Okay, you know what else? I think maybe we're going to do some, they call them body lines on the car itself and just over top of your wheel well. Let's just go like this. Okay. There we go. There's our car. You know a car, I guess it has to drive on the road, doesn't it? I'm just going to put a nice line right underneath it like that. Okay. There you go, Jack. There's your car. What do you think? I know. That looks like the one we built in the shop today, doesn't it? Ho, 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 ho. So there you go, kids. We have a car. How do you spell car? I think it has three letters, doesn't it? C, A, and R. So let's put the lines underneath here. One, two, three. So we have our C, and our A, And an R for the word car. Jack, I think we've just drawn the car that you like. It's a nice, bright red little car. Okay? And hope the kids try this, and I hope they add different things that maybe is on mom and dad's car. What do you think? You can add anything you want to this. All right? So... I think we're done the car. And remember, kids, what I always tell you, when you're done your work, you need to sign it. So everybody knows that you did it. There's our car, kids. <laughs> well, kids, you know, that means I've got to go build some toys. So I just want to remind you, make sure you like and subscribe to this channel. Always be kind and always believe in yourself, okay? Be good. Till next time. Oh, 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 oh.